How's it going, everybody? Happy Saturday. Um, it's Vigil Saturday. And um, it's, it's the night after Jesus passed away. And we're waiting for him to come back. Because we know we know now that he's resurrected, right? So Thursday he gets arrested. Friday he's crucified and dies on the cross. And um, a lot of stuff got canceled here. Um, San Fernando still did their passion um, reenactment yesterday despite of the weather but um other places didn't do theirs because the weather got worse as the day progressed so at my church we did the um the stations of the cross and you pretty much follow his journey as he carries his cross to be crucified and buried in the tomb and we know that he's resurrected. So tonight, um, there's a nighttime mass where we're waiting for him to come back. But um, it's also our initiation, I guess, completion. So although I still continue doing the classes, it completes my initiation into Catholicism. So I can, um, so I guess some people would call it um, communion, the first communion, because we're able to partake in the Eucharist after tonight. Um, one of our classmates is actually um, getting baptized, which I think is cool because um, he, he feels like it's something that he needs to do. Uh, it's been a very interesting journey. Uh, one, not being on social media. And I have cheated a little bit, but like I said, I was trying to make the excuse that it was for a good cause. And we're, we are still selling the tickets. Um, I may not have been very clear before, but the, the raffle is in June because the trip is in July. So we're trying to raise money for World Youth Day. They're raffling off the... Um, the mercy jesus statue it's really nice and they had it at the church the other day um last sunday it's about two feet tall it's sterling silver it's valued at over six thousand dollars it's it's a really nice statue and um the father says i don't know if it's because it's silver and it reflects the sunlight but it never gets hot even if you leave it in the sun it doesn't get hot which i think it's really cool it could be a Jesus thing, I don't know, but he says it never gets hot. And um, we're still raffling those off. I personally still have a few tickets if you're interested in purchasing them. Um, tomorrow is Easter, so uh, it's been a, a very church full week. It's Holy Week, um, went to, to Mass on Thursday. It was really, really, um, nice interesting to me uh like i told one of my classmates i've never really been a church person um and i never even went on holidays and it was just a thing um not even on christmas or easter we never really just we just never really went to church at least um not where i wanted to so if we did go as kids i wasn't there you know because i didn't want to be there and now going through all of the classes and and everything, especially Lent, um, staying off of social media, focusing on Jesus and my walk with Jesus. It's been very eye-opening. I think one of the things personally that I discovered was that um, I read the Bible and I liked bragging that I've read it more than once, front to back, but I never really understood it. and. and Listening to the podcast and listening to um, the sermons, it's it's. I've, I've realized that I didn't really understand what was going on. So that is a really cool thing. Um, 
understanding everything that happens. And I think that's one of the, the, the reasons Catholicism gets a bad rap because people don't understand. They, we don't worship saints. Think of when you tell kids about Santa Claus, right? He can be everywhere at once. So he sends these fake Santas to be there for him, right? It's like that with the saints. We don't worship the saints. They're like an intercessor, right? I chose St. Augustine as my saint. So if you really want to know, we'll discuss that later. But if, if I have a problem, I used to pray to St. Anthony for another reason. And so if I have stuff going on, I could be like, hey, man, um, I know God's busy, but I have this problem can you put in a good word for me and that's basically what it is like when you pray to the the virgin you know hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death so you pray the prayer and then you say hey i got this problem you know this blah 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 whatever Mary will go to God and say, look, man, it's Lupe again. He's got this problem, blah, blah, blah. Can, you know, can you do something? Can you help him? Whatever, right? They're, we're not worshiping Mary. We're not worshiping the saints. We pray to them to pray to God. It's, it's like we're asking them to give our request to God. So, and, and I think it's interesting, too, that a lot of people attack Catholicism, but it's based out of fear and not understanding. Um, I spoke with somebody the other day and it's like, well, I'm Christian. Well, what makes you think that just because I'm Catholic, I'm not Christian? I believe in God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. We just do things differently. So. It's been an interesting trip. It's been an interesting journey for me. Um, tonight is the Easter Vigil. I'll be at the church completing my transformation into Catholicism. Tomorrow's Easter. I hope you guys have a great, blessed weekend. Um, I'm not going to be fully on yet especially since it's going to be super busy today and tomorrow. But the best way to reach me is Facebook Messenger, um, unless you have my number. And um, other than that, God bless you. I'll see you all next time.